So yeah, here we are. Another episode of Worms Ultimate Mayhem. Very excited to continue on our journey. As you can see once again with Ling ZA. Also known as Ling ZA Dragon. And yeah, this should be quite interesting. Seems like I'm the first one to go. Okay, this seems like it's one of those uh, horror-esque maps. I do like the vibe. It looks very nice. I didn't mean to trigger the mine, but... It was a fake mine, we are good. It's been a while since we played, so I'll excuse my skill issues. As I say, skill issues, I actually managed to get the first kill, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, as you can see on the screen, Nightbot is no longer with us. Nightbot has been reduced to atoms. The same way that streamer bot has been reduced to atoms and basically everything else related to various chatbots and such. I completely removed them all and replaced them with a custom made one called Talking Cookie Bot. And the Talking Cookie Bot works directly through Sami, which makes it a bit more uh, easy to control because I can put in a cues and such which is nice I'm very happy about the results to be honest it took a really long time to set up properly but seems like it's working so I am quite happy with it and I guess only time will tell if it uh, turns out to be a good idea or a bad idea. But yeah, I wanted to replace the bots eventually with my very own one. I've been planning to do that for a very long time, but I wasn't sure how to do it. And uh, this past week I started to finally look into it more properly. And thankfully I was able to do it. I spent a really long time on it, but it should be working. Everything, even the follow age comments and such, I completely read it them in Sami. So hopefully it will be worth the, worth the time I spent on it. I overall plan to make as much stuff as uh, possible I run only through Sami because Sami is a very uh, multifunctional tool for streaming and it's completely free so I wanna eventually put everything into it because I think it's a lot better when everything is running through the same software it gives you more control over stuff and it's easier to sort of uh, navigate, you know. You don't need to have like 50 tabs of them. Or 50 of different applications. Easier for the CPU and GPU usage during streaming and such. And most importantly, you don't need to rely on third party websites. Because they can be down from time to time. And when they are down, suddenly your bots don't work properly, which is always heavily unfortunate. So I think it's a good thing to switch it up. Make it all work in Sami, which runs in your computer, and therefore you have uh, always the bot running when you are live. You don't need to rely on websites and such, which is nice. So yeah, that's that's the biggest news of the channel at the moment. 
haven't really done anything else, I don't think. I did remove the watch time command because I wasn't sure how to do watch time in Sami. But that's uh, only the only command I had to remove. Everything else I was able to replicate in Sami. Which is nice. So yeah. Up next is the halt until relief. Seems like an interesting map, kind of uh, looks like some sort of a Pearl Harbor situation. Could be quite fun. So yeah, let's jump into it. I am once again first. I'm not sure what exactly determines who goes first and who goes second. I'm guessing it's like random, probably, but who knows, you know? <laughs> That's a lovely explosion, holy moly. Starting with the first block, you love to see it. But yeah, as I said many times in the previous episodes, I absolutely love this game. It's my favorite ones game ever made. I grew up with it, and I absolutely love it. I think it's the absolute peak of Worms. I know most people prefer the 2D games, but me personally, I just freaking love the environments and everything in the 3D setting, you know. There are some 2D Worms games that I like, mainly the ones from PlayStation 1 and 2, which is the ones I play. I haven't really played the modern ones much. The most modern one I played was the Revolutions, I think, with the water physics. But yeah, I kind of get bored by those games really quickly. I much prefer these 3D environments. I'm not sure why, but it's, it's it is how it is. I guess everyone likes uh, different stuff, you know. Could be like that. Well, oh no, that's a mine. Okay, I survived. Good, good, good. I feel like we played a very similar map to this one already. But it was uh, in the Worms 4 engine, I think. This is the Worms 3. Which is why you can tell that there is like a weird uh, nostalgic filter over it. Not entirely sure why. But yeah, I absolutely love Worms Ultimate Mayhem. I also love Worms 3D and Worms, Worms 4 Mayhem, which are the original two versions of that were compiled into this uh, remaster of sorts. I played the original ones on PlayStation 2 actually. They are sadly no longer available anywhere. The only version that's available is this Ultimate Mayhem on Steam, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, someday I would like to play through the story campaigns of both games because they actually have pretty fun storylines with fun cutscenes and such. I think that would be fun. Not entirely sure when will I jump into it, but uh, I do want to do it at some point. Maybe after we finish the multiplayer playthrough that I'm doing with Link Zian, we will see. But yeah. Let's do another one of these, my favorite weapon. Uh, that didn't go as planned, but you know what? It happens. Engage. But yeah. 
there is still a lot of stuff I wanna do with the channel and stuff. I still need to figure out some way to fix the chat overlay. Because uh, the current chat overlay is using the stream elements website. And as you've seen in the past month or so, almost every stream has some issues in the chat overlay. With the emotes not displaying properly, which is extremely annoying. So I still need to figure out a way to fix that. Need to look into some alternatives, I suppose. The chat overlay. I'm sure there is plenty of them, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Sometimes it just works, then it randomly stops working for an apparent reason. I was mess messaging the support about it, and they said they are aware about the issue. That they are working on a fix, but haven't fixed it yet, so I'm not really sure. And the support ticket was closed, so I'm not sure what's going on. And it's quite unfortunate because I'm using the uh, modification from Zaytri with the chat bubbles, which gives you more customization over the look of the chat. So it would be heavily unfortunate to switch to something else, because the Z3 customization only works with stream elements at the moment. Although I heard that Z3 is working on some sort of a slime chat overlay. Like instead of those bubbles that I have currently, there would be like, I guess, slime bubbles or something, I'm not sure. And apparently that will be using a completely different API. So it will be no longer dependent on uh, uh, stream elements, which would be nice. <laughs> so I will definitely probably switch to that whenever it releases. It's currently in development, so it might take a while. But yeah, I do have lots of stuff that I want to do for the channel. I mean, in the past six months, we upgraded a lot of features from the redeem send commands to the various other additions. And I definitely want to continue doing that in the future. Yeah, we definitely came a long way, especially when you compare this stream to like my f first ever stream, which was the Conquer's Bad Fear Day. So much uh, little stuff that I put in to make it look nicer and such. I'm very happy about it. Even the little, little details like the game audio lowering when I talk, I think that was a really great upgrade that I am very proud of. Now that I have it set up that way, I can cannot even imagine playing the way I used to, where the audio was uh, as loud as me most of the time. Really is nice to have it uh, auto-adjust. But yeah. Upgrade required. I'm very happy with where we managed to get to over the period of the past six months. And I am very excited to see what the future holds for us. Really. There is a wind, as you can see. I should put it like... 
this, I suppose. I hit it when this happens. That might be a wrong placement, let's see. Oh, it was enough to sink the worm. That will be our second victory of the episode. We will have to see. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's jump into the next map, which will be Hook, Line, and Skimmer. Sounds interesting. Let me hydrate real quick. There we go. Seems like I'm first again. It do be like that sometimes. We are on a blimp or hot air balloon, one of the two. Is that a freaking moist statue in the distance? Oh my god. Let's put the dynamite right over here. That would be good enough to sink the first worm. There we go. We love to see it. Yeah, I guess this is like a beach level of some kind. Quite nice. Okay. I'm not sure when will you be watching this uh, video on YouTube, but currently the game is on sale on Steam for basically just a couple of uh, very very low price, you know. Just nice. Time to say goodbye. And I definitely recommend it. This is a wonderful game. And that was indeed a moist statue, I was correct. You can tell by the big nose. Oh my god. This is truly the peak. Oh no. Almost fell in the water, but managed to save myself. Somehow. Well, never mind, I died. Also, there will be a luck temporarily. I need to send a message. Give me a second. Go message sent. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see what Lingzie does next. Oh my God, Lingzie is in the balloon. What the heck? That's heavily unfortunate placement, I would say. But I guess uh, I can deal with it. Looks like Lingzi will try to open up the balloon a little bit. Which is understandable. I'm not sure if that will hit me. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But the balloon one will probably destroy me. Yep. Rest in pepperoni, one of my wants. Seems like Lingzie is winning. 
Like we, need, we need to act fast. I think we got teleported. Look at that boy statue. Oh my god. I think it's freaking hilarious. You know? Look at that statue. Oh my god. Well, I could, I could kind of like, maybe hit both of them. It's gonna be difficult, but it could work. Easier thing to do would be to just simply use the statue weapon, you know. But uh, I wanna play it a bit funnier, I suppose. Make it a bit harder for myself, especially since I'm the only worm left. I don't think there is any chance of me winning. But, uh. Might as well try some pro gamer moves, I suppose. We will see how it goes. It's time to see what Link ZA will do in the balloon. Also, if you are wondering uh, why Link ZA isn't talking, it's because Link ZA is streaming over on his side. And Link ZA is a TTS streamer, which means uh, only people over at that stream can hear him. While on my side, people can only hear me. We figured that would be the best way to do it because we didn't know how to actually set up like a DTS call on Discord, you know. But uh, it works. We are having fun. This is very, very nostalgic. Very, very enjoyable as well. So. That's good, that's good. But yeah, another map is finished. And the next one will be... Ice Ice, maybe. That's a reference to a song. Very old song, but very enjoyable. Ice Ice Baby. If I'm not mistaken. Oh my freaking freak. What the heck is with that lens flare? What the heck? <coughs> I was flash banged by the game. What the heck was that? Absolute flash bang. My poor eyes. Oh my. That was a direct hit. What the heck? Link ZA is getting better and better in this game. Yeah, what the heck is going on over there? What the heck? Why is it flash banging over there? What the heck? That must be a bug. That doesn't seem like it's supposed to be happening. You know? Definitely some sort of a bug. Ah, uh, well, Link Z put two worms into the same place, which is the fridge. So the smartest thing to do would be to drop a donkey on the fridge. Let's do that. Let's play it safe this time around. There we go, lovely. The fridge has been reduced to atoms, completely annihilated. You love to see it. Die, that's the last thing I... <laughs> hmm. 
But uh, what the heck was what with that uh, flash bank light? That that's the first time I've seen anything like that in the game. Would be some issue with the Worms 3D map port into the Worms Ultimate Mayhem, maybe. Definitely out. Lindsay is the king of the mountain. I do have quite the advantage at the moment. I still have three worms alive. I keep getting flesh banked by the by the freaking lens flare. It happens. Seems like a weird glitch of some kind. Definitely isn't normal. If one of my worms died. The other one survived just barely. Oh my god, the flashback is real. Flashback is real. Let's do. Let's see. Uh, there are only two links here, worms left. I can either go for the one on the top of the mountain or on for the one that's on the building. I'm gonna try going for this one. Hopefully it will work out. There we go. <coughs> oh, Ling Zia survived. That's unexpected. With 16 HP. It happens, it happens. We shall see what happens next. That will be my death. As expected. <laughs> I think we can do some skill. Shot with cows, maybe. I'm not sure if it will work out. Especially with the flashbang, oh my god. If we go like this, that will be not good. If we go like this. That will be not good. So if we go like this, maybe that could work. That could indeed work. Although it's gonna be real rough. I think I won. With a skill shot of the cows. That's a rough one, especially with the flesh banging. Oh my god. Well, that was quite the interesting map. I will probably never play this one again because the flesh bang was really hurting my eyes. But here we are at the next map. Which looks like it's gonna be about the moon landing on a green screen set. Sounds exciting.
The sound effects of worms are very cutie like. One small step for man, but one huge step for Samer's J, I suppose. Interesting set. Did I see a shooting star or did I imagine it? Mm, let's see. Mm, I think the easiest one to deal with would be this one, maybe. Especially if I do one of these. Okay, now I need to swap this, and now I need to swap this, place wow. it down, yeah. run away. There we go, there was indeed a shooting star in the sky, which is quite nice. You just love to see these attention to details. Really beautiful. Enemy wounded. Uh. But yeah, I just noticed I set up the timer for talking cookie, but not uh, successfully. Because instead of sending the message, it sends announcement, and announcement aren't visible on the screen at the moment. That's uh. all right, though. I have an amusing little desk planned for you. Well, Lingzi, I took some fall damage. A really unfortunate, but it happens. Let's deal with this one. Should be easy enough. One swift smack to the head. Teleport away. Hide away from the crime, you know. But yeah, this is a really cool map, but I think it's a bit uh, small. I kind of prefer the bigger scale maps. Feels a little bit claustrophobic, if you know what I mean. That's okay. Lingzie is going with the pro gamer moves, it seems like. However, the rope got stuck in the ground. It happens. It happens actually quite often in this game, which is why I would really love to see some sort of a remake in the future, with some slightly upgraded engine, you know, to make the ropes and such work uh, better, and to maybe include like uh, water physics and such. Can you imagine water physics in these 3D worms games? I think that would be absolutely amazing. But it kind of seems like the developers abandoned the 3D games. It seems like these days they only focus on the 2D ones. 
which is fair, they probably sell better than the 3D ones ever did. But, uh, personally, I always preferred the 3D, 3D ones, so... It is a bit unfortunate that there will probably no, never be another game like this. Well, that didn't work out. But yeah, I would definitely love to see another game like this in the future, with some modernized uh, engine and such. It would be really freaking cool. Sadly, we will probably never see that happen. Oh well, oh well. There is also a game on the PlayStation one, I think, called the Hogs of War, which has a very similar gameplay style to this uh, game. Sadly, that one would be impossible to play uh, with Link ZA because it would require. I'm not even sure what it would require since it's running on PlayStation 1. But. Uh, Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think it even has, like, uh, proper... <laughs> multiplayer in it, unfortunately. It's definitely unfortunate. But it has a single player campaign with which I would be probably down to stream at some point. Also seen it release on Steam. I'm not sure if it's a remaster or just a direct port. But I do have it in my library. I bought it when it released. I haven't played it on the Steam yet. But I do have fond memories of playing it on PlayStation 1. So yeah. Right now I am kind of uh, already scheduled with other games. Like currently I am doing to Alice from American McGee. Afterwards, I will be doing the sequel, Alice Madness Returns. I have some stuff planned with Colonel K. Mostly just another beat em up. Sessions, which is always nice. And. After I finish Nexomon, I have scheduled some other game similar to Nexomon, which is called... Uh, I forgot. Something with beasts. Those do be the games that I genuinely enjoy the most. So yeah. Well, that's a pretty good move from Ling Zie, using the donkey on my healed up worm. Now it's 1v1. All I realistically need to do is a sniper shot, I think. So let's do that. Hopefully I won't miss. Seems like a headshot. How much damage does that do? 
40. Nice. I won. Let's see. What is next? Nobody rides for free. Seems like it's a theme park. I do like me some theme parks, so this should be fun. Ooh, pretty huge roller coaster over here. I am playing first. See, the worms are pretty neatly spread out. So I don't think it would be wise to use the donkey at the present time. I can however get some easy kill right over here. By using the good old baseball bat. hide in the little building. That's the freaking ticket seller for the wheel. Confidence upgrade initiated. Oh my, that will probably destroy the teleport. It was going kind of an interesting uh, Wii movement. Kind of made me chuckle there. Oh my god. Love to see it. This is one of those goofy games, you know, that you can just enjoy playing on a repeat. It's very fun. Uh. And nostalgic as well. I love nostalgia. As you can probably tell by the things that I stream and by the videos that I have on my YouTube channel. I really like nostalgia. I really like playing older games. I guess it do be like that sometimes. I don't know if baseball bat would be able to get this win, but it should work. <laughs> Excuse my cough, I'm not sure if that worked or not. Sometimes the game decides not to show you. But that's okay. Turn for Ling Ziyang. Let me try something. Okay, excuse the lag, I think the game lagged a little bit. Yeah, this game has to sort of a priority processing thing going for it. So whenever I click out of the game to send a message or something, the game for some reason decides to shit itself. You know? Which is heavily unfortunate. But it happens. Not much you can do about it, unfortunately. So Lingzie decided to go with the water raising strategy. 
Uh, let's see. I could go with the uh, rocket uh, blasting strategy. You know? There we go, we are on the wheel. Love to see it. Let's aim for this fella over here. There we go. Up next is Sling ZA once again. This is gonna be a tough fight because the water is quite high. It is 2v2 at the moment, so chances of victory are quite uh, equal. But we shall see how it goes. In other news, I am planning to play Inscription at some point. It was recently discounted on Steam, so I decided to purchase it. I have never played it before. But uh, I've been recommended to play it a couple of times by three different people. So I might jump into it somewhat soon since it's been recommended. And we shall see. It will still be a while before you see me play through it though. Probably like at least two or three weeks. But we will see, we will see. Let's not jump into any conclusions just yet. Let's pick up this free HP over here. Might as well. Let's go on the roller coaster. Oh my god, almost fell. That's an unfortunate mine placement. Lingzia is over here riding the freaking thing. How about we drop a donkey? Right over here actually would be probably best. Yeah, let's do it over here. Incredible worm. Lingzie almost survived. The 3 HP on top finished him off. I almost died as well, apparently. Needs to be more careful for sure. But yeah. Today, today is one of those hot summer days where there is 30 degrees Celsius outside and I am absolutely dying because my medication makes me really woozy when the weather is uh, up there, you know. It's not bad enough to not be able to stream, but it's definitely a bit uncomfy. 
There is not much you can do about it though, it's 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 the weather. There is no way to control the weather. But I sure wish the temperature didn't go so high. Because it's quite uh, quite annoying. Let's drop the fatty over here, which should finish Link's AO. I think. Maybe. If we get lucky. Wow, that's a long distance to fly. Oh my god. Almost went to the other side of the world. survived in the water. But yeah, oh my god, this weather is really unfortunate. Which is why I hope that in the future I will be able to move to some colder place like Canada or something. But not uh, like uh, Canada. Canada is a huge country, you know, and some of the parts of Canada are quite on the colder side. So that's where I would eventually like to end up. I think that's where I would be comfy the most. But we shall see what the future holds. That probably won't happen anytime soon. I am the first one playing once again. Worms Island, welcome. Seems to be a shark in the water. Ooh, this map actually looks interesting. There is actually a blown up shark in the water over here. Ate some dynamite. It's interesting. You can really tell that the developers really wanted to make the environments in this game really lovely. And I think they really succeeded. Let's drop the donkey over here. That's a double kill straight from the beginning. Let's see what Link ZA will bring to the table. Enemy wounded. Resistance is oh, well, that's not good. There is some mine. Well, Lingzi has survived. I am still in the lead with three worms alive against Lingzi Ace 2. Let's see, those two are very close together. Seems like the perfect time to drop a fatty over there. Hopefully, it will work out, it didn't. It only bounced, but it should do a decent chunk of damage, even though it didn't sink them. Yeah, look at that, 98. It will be like that sometimes. So it's still 3 against 2, however those two have very low HP. Also that ship, if i seen it correctly, is called Korea. Which is an interesting name for a ship, that's for sure.
It makes sense though, that's where the sharks are usually being hunted. Comes a grenade. Wow, that was heavily unfortunate. It happens though, it happens. Let me actually check what the ship says because I'm genuinely curious. It doesn't say Korea, it says Orca. But there you go, I cannot read. Cannot read. Can you imagine having skill issues with the grammar? I will be hidden in the tower, lighthouse. Which means I can only really use a couple of these fellas. Let's use the sheep. <laughs> right for this one. There we go. Now it's three against one. Not to be dragging or anything, but I think this is a win for me in the next turn. Unless something insane happens right now. Oh my god, I just noticed the cute little crabs on the beach there. Those are truly cuties over there. Also some creepy hand. Let me go closer and take a proper look. Why is this hand over here? Like, what the heck? The crabs are cute though. I'm not too sure about the hand, but the crabs are cute. I wish I could pet them. Uh, I still have a jetpack, so you know what? It's time to visit Ling Zie over here at the top. I have some plan for you. I will put one of these right over here. Well, that was a fail. It was actually a huge fail. The grenade bounced and fell into the water. But you know what it do be like that sometimes you learn from the mistakes and hope to not repeat them in the future. I should have figured that the surface of the uh, lighthouse wasn't smooth and that it would bounce right off. Yeah, you decided to use the parachute. And... To be honest, I'm not sure why. I feel like being on top of the lighthouse was a good advantage. This will for sure kill one of my worms. One of them will survive though. So this turn will decide who will be the victorious one. Is... 
have to go. Didn't fall into the water, but the damage was sufficient enough to get to the victory. Let's continue moving onwards into the next map, which is Ragnarok and Roll. Probably inspired by the. Is it Greek mythology? Norse mythology? Who knows? One of those mythologies. Uh, probably Norse because it's Vikings, right? Makes sense, makes sense. You have to excuse my knowledge of the freaking mythos. It's been like five years since I last uh, learned about them for some school projects. Usually when you learn something in school and you don't use it, you will soon forget the knowledge, which is uh, quite understandable, I would say. There is so much useless, uh, so much useless... Uh, Stuff in school that you need to learn and then never use ever again in life. But it would be like that. There is also so much useful stuff that you need in life that the school won't even teach you, like taxes and such, which is also unfortunate. At least my school didn't teach taxes. I had to teach that to myself. And to be completely honest with you, I still don't properly understand it. But such is life. And such is the double kill from Ling Zia. Oh my god, that was a very skillful move. I will need to step up my game if I want to win this one. Oh my god, one of my worms survived with 2 HP. I don't know if that's lucky or... Or unfortunate. Hello, sir. Searching for target. Goodbye, sir. Let me hide over here so that I am not an easy target. Keep running into some itchy eye issues. Not entirely sure why. And it only happens when I stream. This it's usually this eye, the one on this side. That always starts to itch for no apparent reason. But, uh, oh well. It do be like that, it do be like that. Yeah. Ling ZA ran into some skill issue, which is uh, unfortunate for him. And very fortunate for me. Armor is lovely. Huh? 
let's see what this this it's not a freaking horn it is a horn link ZA over there playing the horn safest bet would be the donkey so let's drop the donkey we will destroy the horn in the process but that uh, that happens Another freaking victory. Enemies annihilated. Hardware intact. Good show. It was a very quick map. Probably the quickest of today. As is usual with these uh, ones that have lots of water in them. Schools in for summer. With a teddy bear in the thumbnail, this could be quite fun. We shall see how it goes. Okay, who's first? I am first. Sorry about that, I had some brain freeze there for a second this teddy bear is looking a bit rough poor Ferla lost an eye and is bleeding out the cotton it's heavily unfortunate nothing I can do about it except for some holy hand grenade action Straight into the mine, you'll have to see it. That was probably the most skillful move I ever did, and it was pure luck. Didn't even didn't even count on Lingzi hitting the mine. Bounced straight into the water. Oh my god. It's so satisfying when stuff like that happens, you know. I was sent to the swings. <laughs> Base memorized. Hit list updated. Hit list updated, just like the worm set. These two are very close to next to each other. Which is the perfect timing for a donkey, I would say. It will probably insta kill that one, not sure about this one, but Let's try it anyways. Worst thing that can happen is at least one kill will go down. Yeah, the other one survived, but that's okay. Let me send out a quick message. Don't mind the game lagging for a little bit. Okay, message has been sent. Game okay, should no longer be lagging. Go. 
What is Ling Zie up to looking all over the map? Two of his worms against four of mine. Counting the next move really carefully, I suppose. A turret, that's actually a pretty good move. That will force me to be frozen in place constantly. Seems like there are some placement issues. There we go. Activated the mine, it happens. And here I am on the swing, cannot move because the red is over there. My aim is not too good. Both of them are hidden behind obstacles. I think I will go for this one though. Should be a guaranteed win. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Now it's just one Ling Zie against multiple of my worms. I can already smell the victory but you never know maybe Lingzia will be like some sort of a 4d chess move and kill all four of my worms at once would be quite insane okay dynamite over there that's a really weird place to rest in because I can sneak in and use baseball bat. The turret doesn't see me here beyond the wall. Armor is nice. Where is the turret? Okay, I cannot go this way. I will try anyway. I think I dodged all the bullets. Like some sort of a Neo in the Matrix movie. Also, there is a sign. Play with ball. Interesting, interesting. Well, let's get to the W. You love to see it. It was a cool map. I quite enjoyed that one. Let's see what's the next one. It's the Shiver Me Timbers. Sounds exciting. Let's jump into it. Okay. It's like one of those simplistic maps. I wonder if this is a skull of the giant. It kind of looks like it. Hmm. The worms are pretty nicely spread out, except for these two. In fact, I don't even know where the second one is. Is he like underground? What the heck?
It's kind of weird. I was tempted to use the donkey, but I am actually really curious about the location of that worm. So instead I will use the flying sheep to take down this fella at the roof. Go. And hopefully, Lingzie's worm that is underground will be up next. But there is no telling which one will be to choose. There we go, it actually chose the one underground. Oh, I see there is a little cave found under there. Next to the treasure. Well, now that I know, I can probably drop a donkey down there. Without too many issues. That was a very close misplay over there. Thankfully for Link Z A, the radius of the explosion wasn't wasn't big enough. Yeah, but could be happening. Straight hit. I didn't fall into the water though, so that's nice. This will give me. This will give me a pretty good chance at winning because I can now use the donkey and get a possible double kill right over here. If I get lucky. I didn't get lucky. In fact, this probably won't be even a single kill. Yeah, both of them survive. Oh well, oh well, it happens. ZA is going with the jetpack struts. Completely fine. It's gonna be a kill, I think. Oh. Almost hit the freaking crate. Okay, so it's three against three. The cows would probably be helpful in this situation. Because if I, I if if I aim them correctly, they should be able to do a double kill. Let's see. It worked. Double kill achieved. Now it's three against one. Let's see what Ling Zia does next. Yeah. 
very nostalgic. This game is. I am actually quite tired today. As I was working on the new bot for the channel, I went to sleep a bit later than usual. And I also woke up earlier than usual, so I didn't really sleep too much. But it, uh, it happens. The coffee for sure helps a lot, which reminds me I should probably go make a new one after I finish this stream. You know what, let's go grab this healing chest, might as well get some boosted health, you know. Do I have holy hand grenade? I do. It was almost at the mine, but I missed. Which is fine because I won. So that's nice. Next is uh, probably the longest map name I ever seen in this game, which is Showdown at the Coral Reef. Only three maps remain. So let's jump into the showdown. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. That was close. I almost, almost closed the game by accident. Uh. Which would have been unfortunate, that's for sure. I am first once again. And I started in a pretty decent location because I can do one of these. Let's hide behind the freaking building. It's probably a bad idea, I can be sniped into the water, but... We shall see how it goes. The first kill is mine. Therefore I am satisfied. Okay, let me send out a quick message again into Lingzia's chat. Excuse the game lag. There we go. ZA apparently fell into the water. I bet that happened because of my destructive message in his chat. You know, I am playing the 4D chess over here. It do be like that. This seems like the perfect place to use one of these. There was a mine, what? Oh my god, that explosion completely drifted me into the water. What the heck?
¿sí? Well, at least it's sort of sort of uh, over on my side, three against one. As I am looking at the hut, I cannot help but notice that if Lingzie decided to use the cows, there would be a potential to hit all three of my worms with the uh, cows. There is a potential for a triple kill, but I think Lingzie is going for something else. Resistance is futile. Well, that was uh, that was attempt at sinking me, Damage report corrupted. but I didn't sink, and therefore let's get this W, shall we? Actually, didn't get the W just yet. I was hoping that would uh, throw the worm into the water, but it didn't. It looks kind of goofy whenever I adjust my hair. The motion tracking always makes my hand look like it's punching me or slapping me for some reason. I wonder what would be the lore explanation of my VTuber slapping himself. Hmm. Who knows? Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. That's the second time Ling Z8 tried to sink me with a baseball bat. And I somehow landed without uh, drowning. I'm not sure if that's just pure luck or what. But you know what? It do be the time. Lingzie has drowned. And therefore I am victorious. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That was a pretty nice map, although it was also one of those sort of claustrophobic ones that felt very tiny overall. Up next is the three village trouble. The last one of the two. Did you jump into it? I am once again first. This map reminds me of that one scene in one of those Star Wars movies where Yoda and Chewbacca visit the weird uh, village. I don't remember which movie it is from. To be completely honest, I mostly remember it because I played Lego Star Wars. And I remember Yoda having like that uh, levitation chain, which was kind of hilarious in that Lego game. It's kind of funny how I remember more stuff from Lego Star Wars rather than Lego movies. And I actually quite liked uh, 
Star Wars uh, movies. Confidence upgrade initiated. At least up until the seventh one. Like seventh one was decent, but the eighth one and the ninth one were pure garbage, to be honest. Even the seventh one was kind of meh. Weakest of the weakest of the previous movies. It kind of got worse as the time went by. It do be like that in those uh, long running franchises. Usually the quality degrades because the original writers are no longer part of the production. And the fanbase can tell because the storytelling always takes an unfortunate hit. It's it's also happening with the Marvel Cinematic Universe at the moment. Everything was working nicely up until they started branching out too much, making too many projects at once and not really focusing enough on the quality over quality. Like they Really started rushing projects out of the door, which is unfortunate. Some of the new MCO content is quite nice. Like I genuinely enjoyed the Moon Knight series, although I think it could have been a bit better. I also genuinely enjoyed the. Loki and Wonder Vision. Die, that's the last thing I I also relatively enjoyed Miss Marvel. But mainly the first three episodes. Or something along those lines. Then it kind of went sideways. I'm not really sure what they were doing there. Last map is up next. But yeah, what I'm trying to say is basically when you have a long running franchise, it won't last forever. Eventually, the quality will degrade. It was true with Star Trek, it was true with Simpsons, it was true with South Park. Everything over time degrades because ah. either the original people are no longer there to oversee it or just uh, the patient that was there originally just isn't there anymore and it's just a money making machine yeah. instead of being made for the fans, you know. Even Disney movies suffer from this. They started making mostly live action remakes instead of creating original content and such. Oh well. I do see the white screen once again, I'm not sure what is happening. It do be the flashbang, I suppose. But yeah, it kind of happened with the uh, a lot of stuff, even game franchises that were long running sometimes suffer from this, like Halo for example, or Duke Nukem. It's unfortunate, but it happens.
What I would recommend though, like absolutely heavily recommend, instead of watching Star Wars, or Star Trek, or whatever modern sci-fi you are trying to enjoy, I would heavily recommend the Orwell. It's on Disney Plus. Orwell. That show is freaking amazing. It has amazing story writing. Absolutely incredible world building. One of the very, very few sci-fi thingies of the modern era that I genuinely enjoyed watching. Because it has some really good writing, really likable characters. One of the main characters is actually the uh, voice actor of uh, Brian from Family Guy and such. McFlaren, I think is the name. Which is a popular voice actor, he actually voiced a lot of stuff over the years. But in this show he's playing like actual live action role, which is nice. He also voiced Ted in the movie Ted. He's the mainly voice actor in various comedies and such. I'm sure you heard his voice at some point. I have an amusing little death planned for you. And I genuinely enjoy watching him in the old oh. He's actually a pretty good actor. He really suits into the role. It really suits him is what I meant to say. And the show is in general really freaking cool. Probably my most favorite show that I watched in the past uh, year. And trust me, I watched a lot of shows in the past year, but Orwell is definitely the peak that I've seen. Really freaking love it. Well, damn. They didn't expect to die as well. That was some instant karma moves. Oh well, oh well. But yeah, this is the last map from the basic deathmatch selection. Therefore, after we finish this, it will be the end of the deathmatch episodes. I am not sure if there is anything else to be done multiplayer-wise in this game. I will look into it. Uh, not entirely sure, unfortunately. Shut down. No, not restart. Yeah. It was definitely really freaking nostalgic and enjoyable to play through every single multiplayer deathmatch map with Ling ZA. I am really, really happy with it. I really enjoyed it and I am very thankful to Ling ZA for doing this with me because I'm pretty sure not too many other streamers would be interested in Worms Ultimate Mayhem. So I am very happy I was able to find someone who would be down to enjoy this beautiful game with me. And I think it's also a perfect uh, fit for collab with someone who doesn't use voice. Instead uses TTS, because you don't really need to have a proper voice call when you are playing deathmatch, you know. It's not a co-op game, so it's 
perfect for that kind of thing, where each streamer just talks over on their side without hearing the other. Sort of like in esports, I suppose. In the versus stuff. I don't know, I never watched esports to be honest. Uh, but I assume when they play that match, they don't speak with each other. Otherwise, there would be a lot of cursing, I would assume, especially in esports. I don't know, I never watched it. I assume they are quite uh, spicy in their language when they lose and such. Seems like Willing ZA will win this one. I think that was my last worm, I'm not sure. Yep, it was. Ling Zia wins the last map of the game. So congratulations Ling Zia. Thank you so much for doing these multiplayer deathmatch maps with me. We finished them all. And that'll do for... That'll do for the deathmatch, I suppose. There is nothing else to be played in here. So, yeah.